presents myself Sagar Choksi from LJ Institutes of Engineering and Technology. So in previous session we have started a new chapter that related to bus body right and we have already completed first topic that related to bus body classification right. So in today's session we are going to discuss about different types of construction that related to bus body right. So in today's session we are going to discuss about three topics first one that is types of construction second one that is chases and third one that is body work and general design issue right so let's start the lecture lecture number 16 that related to types of construction so the first and important one that is types of construction so in bus body there are various types of construction or you can say there are various types of spare parts we can use first and important one that is chases type or you can take a chases manufacturer second one that is body manufacturer and third one that is integral manufacturer so in types of construction if you take bus body right then we have to focus three parameter first one that is chases manufacturer second one that is body manufacturer then third one that is integral manufacturer right so this is what types of construction in bus body we need to consider this three parameter right so let's talk on that move forward to next slide so types of construction in uh, which we have uh, started three different types of uh, construction first one that is chases manufacturer so first of all we need to understand what is chases manufacturer how it can be implemented or what is the importance for the same right so we all know that chases right right so there is one road which connect with the excel and four wheeler that is called chases right so according to uh, different types of vehicle we need to understand different types of chases so first one that is chases manufacturer what is the task for the same so it build the under frame in a body on frame type construction so this is what the change is manufacturer right second one that is body manufacturer so we, as i discussed earlier that there are various types of spare parts are available first one that is chases second one that is body manufacturer so now we need to understand what is body which type of objectives are there so body manufacturer it build the coach work a body on frame that types of construction right so first and important one that is the base uh, or you can say chases right second one that is the excel and uh, next one that is the body right according to passenger capacity according to different types of segment we need to consider we need to identify that particular parameter so move forward to third one third one that is integral manufacturer so it it is also very important integral manufacturer in integral manufacturer we can say that in bus body uh, there are passenger capacity there are dashboard there are steering system right so this is what integral manufacturer so it built entire buses often using no under under frame at all so we need to consider if you take inter, integral parameter then we need to consider sitting arrangement steering uh, steering system and dashboard right so uh, move forward to fourth one so fourth one that is the objectives right so manufacturer may also be a combination of the above or you can say offering chases only or integral buses or offering body work so in this particular body work right if you uh, consider bus body right so we need to consider first of all frame second one that is excel third one that is chases fourth one that is body and next one that is integral manufacturer integration of that of all that parameter you can construct that uh, particular bus model right so move forward to next one so fifth one that is the splitting of body in chases construction allow company to specialize into different field according to application according to uh, specialization we need to uh, construct that particular body that particular integral part that particular chases right so this is what uh, types of construction so move forward to next slide so next one that related to chases so here in chases also there are many parameter which, which we need to consider 
फर्स्ट वन दैट इज स्ट्रक्चर अंडर फ्लैम सेकेंड वन दैट इज डैशबोर्ड स्टीयरिंग सिस्टम व्हील एंड ड्राइविंग और यू कैन टेक ड्राइवर सेट थर्ड वन दैट इज एंजिन एंड रेडिएटर राइट फोर्थ वन दैट इज व्हील एक्सेल एंड सस्पेंशन एंड नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज गियर बॉक्स एंड ट्रांसमिशन सो इफ यू कंस्ट्रक्ट चेजेस राइट इफ यू कंस्ट्रक्ट चेजेस देन वी नीड टू कंसिडर दैट पर्टिकुलर पैरामीटर देयर आर अल्टीमेटली फाइव पैरामीटर हियर फर्स्ट वन दैट इज स्ट्रक्चर अंडर फ्रेम डैशिंग सिस्टम और यू कैन टेक डैशबोर्ड स्टीयरिंग व्हील एंजिन रेडिएटर व्हील एक्सेल सस्पेंशन गियर बॉक्स एंड ट्रांसमिशन राइट इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ ऑल दैट पैरामीटर यू यू कैन कंस्ट्रक्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर चेजेस as uh, i repeat earlier right as i uh, discuss earlier that in car right in car there are different types of changes in bus there are different types of changes in auto rickshaw there are different types of changes so next one uh, that related to basic or you can take explanation of changes right in bus body which type of changes are there right so uh, the changes can be front engine mid engine or rear engine right second one that is most changes will mount the radiator in respective at engine position for more efficient cooling and third one that is chases may also be built in multiple axle configuration as per the requirement in mini bus there are different chases in a uh, city bus there are different chases so as per the requirement we need to construct that particular chases right so next one so chases product will often be available in different standard line right as uh, we discuss earlier according to segment according to particular segment we need to construct we need to develop particular changes right according to passenger capacity according to segments right so we need to construct that particular changes right so even produce in articulated variant and often be used for bus and coach body work let's have an example volvo b10m so that particular changes uh, we need to construct right so it also offer different option for gear box and engine supplier right so this is what uh, changes in bus body so move forward to next slide next one that is body work so here i have attached one table that related to body work so the major consideration are first one that is sitting capacity according to requirement we need to consider this particular sitting capacity in town bus there are different cap capacity right passenger capacity second one that is in luxury bus there are different uh, passenger capacity so according to requirement according to passenger seat capacity we need to construct the body for that particular bus right second one that is staircase position or design right as uh, i discussed earlier that uh, as per the segment or you can take length of uh, that particular bus we need to construct the staircase position or design right third one that is number and position so it also play a very important role how many rows are there right how many position are there so this is what number and position and that is that particular use right according to kilometer according according to requirement right we need to construct that particular bus body so this is what the body work right in body work major consideration are first one that is sitting capacity second one that is staircase position or design third one that is number and position and fourth one that is application right so move forward to next slide so in body work in body work we need to build for this particular general uses first one that is bus second one that is dual purpose and third one that is luxury coach or you can take coach right so this is what body work is built for three general uses so move forward to next one so the first one that is bus body work is usually geared to short trip with many transit bus feature second one that is coach body work is for longer distance trip with luggage rack and under floor uh, lockers right third one that is the dual purpose design is usually a bus body with upgraded coach style seating for longer distance travel right? exclusive coach the body design can also be available to basic dual purpose uh, fitment so this is what uh, body work first and important one that is maximum weight and stability so first of all according to passenger capacity the bus body uh, will be decided and second one that is stability so now what is stability so for example let's say one example that difference between uh, single decker bus and uh, double decker bus right so according to uh, 
we discussed earlier right in a single decker bus stability is high compared to double decker bus and in double decker bus there are uh, high tc so stability is uh, low compared to single decker bus so this is what maximum weight and stability second one that is fuel consumption so as we discussed earlier in car body that there are some air resistance and uh, if if you uh, cannot uh, ignore that particular air resistance then fuel consumption are more right so according to requirement we need to construct that that type of that particular type of bus body right so vehicle performance is also a very important uh, parameter so move forward to third one third one that is emission standard so uh, according to uh, research right you need to understand emission standard right fourth one that is access uh, accessibility right this is also very important and last one that is maximum dimension length and width restriction may apply so this is what a general design issue so uh, move forward to next slide next one that is sequence of bus body operation so there are ultimately six or seven different uh, flow path right that uh, develop your bus body operation that construct your bus body and that uh, uh, related to your uh, final output so the first and important one that is changes of preparation so changes preparation as uh, you you can take uh, car body as you can take bus body as you can take auto rickshaw body right so or you can take uh, any other right so the first and important one that is the platform right so platform that is a uh, changes so changes of operation is play a very important role second one that is side and front framing right so uh, second and important one that is the side and front framing right and the third one that is a roof framing and rear end so these are the first three part that related to sequence of a bus body operation first one that is the, the platform that is related to chassis second one that is the side part side part that related to uh, your side sequences right third one that is the top part top part that, that related to roof framing and rear end fourth one that is truss panel riveted fifth one that is general inspection so integration of that particular four part now next step is to inspect that particular uh, uh, bus body right so inspection is also very important because uh, there are some rejection there are some uh, issue that related to bus body sixth one that is uh, roof panel so after uh, the general inspection you need to consider roof panel seventh one that is paneling and molding so this is what the sequences of uh, bus body operation and last one that is the final finish right integrating of uh, first to fourth part then I, after uh, first inspection that is called general inspection then you develop then uh, you develop the roof panel then you develop paneling and molding and after that there is one final finishing so these are the di uh, different sequences of bus body operation or you can take the flow path of bus body operation right so thank you, thank you so much. In this particular session, we have completed types of construction that related to chases, that related to body work. So in the next session, we will discuss about different section used in that particular frame. So thank you, thank you so much.